Hello everyone, my name is Ashfaq Ahmed and I work in the field of structure biology and bioinformatics. Today, we will cover something interesting that is the new version of boards. Before this, I have covered tutorials of boards 1, chi 1, alpha fold 3 and protein X. Now, board is developed by a research group based in MIT. They have released the successor of Bolds 1, which is also called Bolds 2. Bolds 2 is currently trending in the scientific community because of its potential to calculate binding affinities. To date, I can say that Bolds 2 remained the first program among its own competitors that is able of calculating the binding affinities. After that, we, we, we are expecting that the other programs like Chi-1, Alpha Fold 3, and uh, Protein IX, and many more will come with this ability. But so far, Boards 1, uh, Boards 2, this package or this version is able to calculate the affinity or uh, ligand affinities to the protein. In today's video, I will teach you how to use bolts tool and i will also discuss some silent features of this bolts tool so let's first discuss the silent feature uh, quickly then we will move to the uh, tutorial section okay uh, it's on the evaluation part and this one this figure shows the evaluation of the structure prediction the evaluation, evaluation was performed on the PDB datasets and uh, different programs were tested in comparison against BOLDS2 that were BOLDS1, CHI1, Alpha Fold 3 and Protein IX. Structure were used from the PDB uh, during this assessment. BOLDS2 shows best performance on RNA and DNA complexes with proteins, while in other cases it remains comparable. Uh, somehow, in, in some places, uh, alpha fold 3 was slightly better, but uh, BOLD2 is not famous on these things. It, it, it's actually famous or it, it's got its height because of uh, calculating or presenting the affinity values before this uh, the programs were normally providing the pde or iptm score but uh, this time the boards 2 the next version of boards 1 they came up and uh, they the this program is now able to give you a binding affinity score also in physical validity the boards 2 uh, has almost crossed all other programs that from here you can see this is for boards too so this is the physical validity test now boards too is also able to capture uh, the local protein dynamics please don't confuse it with the uh, large scale molecular dynamic studies uh, because they, they they mostly cover the local and global uh, both aspects so they are actually, uh, I, I'm actually talking about the local protein dynamics, uh, or I would say, uh, take it like this, that like boards too cannot uh, take the structure statically or rigid. Uh, boards too is able to, 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 to understand the, those local changes in loops and uh, those uh, secondary structure elements and that gives an edge uh, over the other docking programs to boards too because uh, if uh, if the docking i would say the docking is not flex uh, not rigid it's it's a flexible one then it's a higher success so there is some per target uh, rmsf and uh, uh, RMSF Spearman and Pearson and Spearman correlation and IDT and recall and Dennis diversity. Okay, uh, boards too also it is able to to handle the physical base free energy perturbations 
to what we call it FEP. And different targets were used for this to, to check this and boards towards uh, uh, marginally or in some places it was uh, completely outstanding where in some places it was in, compa uh, in comparison with other programs okay and finally uh, boards too can also be used for virtual screening large-scale virtual screening and this is the, the their efficiency or their performance or the average precision uh, analysis i would strongly suggest uh, to everyone to 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 go and read that paper uh, let me share you that paper like uh, where, where you will find it okay after this last slide okay uh, you also need to understand the limitation and challenges uh, challenges of the using boards too uh, boards too is so far able to provide the binding energies or i would say the binding affinity energies in the form of pic50 actually it is not offering a pic50 value uh, they they offer a binary value but later on uh, it can be converted or the program i will uh, i will talk about it will automatically convert that uh, value to the binding free energy or to the pic50 but what is the limitation uh, so far it is for protein and ligand or i would say uh, organic molecules uh, it is not uh, offering this opportunity opportunity for protein protein uh, interactions uh, in the form of binding affinity and all those things uh, do, do not consider boards too so far for large scale mol md molecular dynamic studies as i mentioned it is for the the local uh, local studies and binding affinities uh, of course uh, i would strongly recommend boards through if, if you can use it for your docking jobs but at times you you also need to, to study the 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 acute cause don't uh, just uh, blindly believe on these programs because these are ai based and they are trained uh, trained on certain descriptors certain data sets so they can also make some mistakes and also the binding affinities on which it is trained they they are coming from different experiments they are performed in different conditions so that can also affect your uh, studies okay so now this was the uh, this, these were the silent features of boards now i'm going to share the 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 paper of boards too you can uh, it's freely available boards too colon towards accurate and efficient binding affinity you can uh, find it you can uh, on, on the internet and i would suggest uh, a read for everyone and it's a very 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 much detailed paper and if you want to understand the whole thing i would strongly suggest to read this paper okay so this was all about uh, the boards to paper now we are coming uh, to the tutorial section but remember if you want to use this program so you have to uh, if you want to use this program you have to uh, cite this paper okay wait mm. okay now uh so far um normally i bring tutorial on the collab but this time i'm not bringing tutorial on the collab because there are certain problems i'm facing I, i'm so far not able to generate a collab because boards too uh, is managing some external dependency or requiring some external dependencies and the free collab gpus t4 and also even the pro version which offers l4 and a100 gpus they are not able so far to handle but i'm looking for it once uh, i'm able then i will make another video for you to use it freely okay so so how we will cover how you will use it so for that you have to type uh, row one and once you type row one uh wait 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 
example row one okay and let's say row one protein type like this so you will have this row one ml powered uh, machine learning powered molecule design and uh, design and simulation now you will see this kind of thing uh, if you want to use it so you have to log in first once you hit this button you will see this kind of thing of course um, you will have to use uh, first to create your account but also let me share with you that um, rowan is not offering registration for all the countries so if you are from the country where they do not offer a re registration then you have to think innovatively and do something else uh but I, i'm sure most of my users are from the advanced countries and i'm sure uh, they will have this facility so how to use boards to here you once you create your account on rowan then rowan will offer will give you 100 free credits you can see and if i'm not wrong they will give you 20 credits per week uh but for that i'm not sure you can click here and read it but initially they will give you free credits 100 credits now this will be your account once you uh, registered it then coming down you will see in drug discovery section click here protein ligand co-folding once you click here you will see run new protein ligand co-folding and it is the model they are using is bolts too now how to do it click here add sequence here add your protein sequence uh, whatever you have and then uh, write a workflow name let's say your protein name is egfr whatever you want to do so write that name now here you have to input the ligand smileys or you have also another option to draw the ligand smileys so from where you will get those ligand small smileys if you are um, active listener or of this channel you should know like we have this uh Kim. so my internet connection is a bit slower tonight let's say acetaminophen uh, i write a compound name and it it is acetaminophen you can see here smileys so you can also search your compounds in the pub game and then paste it here once you do it now uh, you can use this will be um, you can use this mss server if, if if it is needed otherwise it is not needed so once you uh, provide this sequence this uh, smileys this button will become active then you have to click it uh, depending upon your structure and depending upon the ligand uh, status uh, it may take uh, some credits from you and for my first job they took uh, almost uh, 9.4 uh, 9 credits now i have uh, 90.59 credits remaining so i'm not going to 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 run it again so i will show you the 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 one i already ran here okay executed here successfully so here i use the protein structure of uh, how to say uh, ndm1 or beta metallolectomases i did not use the zinc atom just i use and here i use just a simple structure of penicillin and i use the smileys of penicillin from the pupkin and these are the the matrices i got the predicted pic value is 5.147 and the bind affinity probability is 5.497 the higher the predicted pic value the better and this one is from 0 to 1 the affinity and this the confidence score is also from 0 to 1 also these four or should be from 0 to 1 uh, near to the 0 is bit uh, near to the 1 is better or the confidence level is higher now if you want to download the pdb just click here your pdb will be downloaded and you can open it in every uh, your your favorite browser discovery studio or 
Pymol or whatever um, Chimera or if you have rest mode or other so you, you you can use it okay one last thing uh, if so for that uh, you have to use this Rowan uh, just carefully because um, I don't want you to use all your credits at once so you can use it uh, as per your experiment and here is the board and stay tuned uh, stay updated on this channel I will bring more interesting and updated information to you guys and uh, stay tuned share this channel with your friends and colleagues uh, thank you so much i hope you enjoy this tutorial and i will try my best to bring this tutorial to the collab so it will be kind of free to all of you but so far so good you can enjoy with this one uh, thank you very much bye bye if you have any question please ask in comment section bye bye